I've come up with a way for students to build nets of a cube. It's a great investigation where in the past I know that I've challenged kids to find the 11 nets of a cube. And there's different ways to do it. You know, I've, I've had the kids actually like draw the net and then cut it out and then try and tape it. But I got something I want to throw out here and uh, would love some feedback from the community. So I was thinking about like cutting out squares and, you know, cutting out six squares. And these are just um, cardstock and figure out a way to sort of attach them. Right. Um, so that you could easily fold them, but then like sort of rearrange them into a different net. So I came up with this idea with a couple paper clips. So what I'm going to try to do is have the students take the two paper clips and hook them together. All right. And think of this as like a hinge, right? You can kind of bend those like that. So the idea being that you would clip this on the midpoint of one edge of a square and then clip this on the midpoint of another edge. So now what you have is you have those two squares sort of attached with a hinge. So you can sort of fold that up like that. So then the idea would be then have the kids make these hinges with the paper clips, give them six squares and figure out, okay, well, how do you want to start out with the six squares arranged so that when you fold it up, it makes that net of a cube. And so here's a cube all put together with those paperclip hinges, if you will. So then the idea is then if they wanted to see what the net is, they can take these hinges off. And start to lay it out, right? So there you go. All right, so there is one net for a cube. And then they could reassemble it and then take it apart a different way. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm going to give this a try coming up soon in the simulation center. I would love to hear some feedback and some ideas on how to improve this or um, if you think this would be a worthwhile investigation. But just using real simple materials like paper clips and cardstock and get kids building the nets of a cube. Thanks.